Hello Titans on this Friday morning. This is your boy Scotty and this is a review of the Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 4 Reunion Part 2. Before I get into that, I just want to let y'all know that this reunion was so whack and so slow. Well, this part was very whack, very slow. It then started getting good to the very end of the episode when Man Low came out. I just wasn't really feeling this part of the reunion. Um, I could have did without the men being a part of it. I mean, they could have deleted those scenes right on out. Like, don't get us hyped up for this reunion. And plus, it's going to be three parts. And then when the second part comes, you want to feed us this bullshit. Don't do that. Excuse me, y'all. Got a stomachache. So, when I have a stomachache, I got to drink this. But, yeah. Um... It was very slow. And it didn't start speeding up to the end. Um, okay, we started off with Peter and Cynthia. And they were talking about their marriage and their issues with Mallory. And I said this the whole season. I don't give a fuck if you marry. You know what I mean? I don't. Like, I was on Twitter and I was like, well, Cynthia, stay choosing they choosing Peter over her own sister. And somebody made the comment to like, well, when you're married, that is what happens. No, it don't. It doesn't happen. Let me tell you what I'm saying. I don't give a fuck if Cynthia is married to Peter. That doesn't give Peter the right to antagonize my um, Mallory. And it doesn't give him a right to talk shit to Mallory the way that he does. I don't give a fuck about him being married to her. Like, that's some bullshit to me. My whole thing is this. Cynthia needs to put Peter in fucking check. And she needs to put her sister in check, but at the same time, you can't really just sit up here and be mad at Mallory because she got an opinion about their relationship because a motherfucker wouldn't have an opinion about their relationship if Cynthia wouldn't be telling Mallory what's going on and how hurt she is and crying to her on the phone about Peter. You know what I'm saying? So if she wants Mallory to start her business, she needs to stop telling Mallory her business because Mallory is her sister and she's going to be concerned and the shit that you tell her, she's going to form an opinion about the shit that you have said about Peter. So that's why she don't like him, okay? Based on the shit you said. So you can't be upset when she's worried or when she's crying about you. And then, especially at that damn gathering that she had, that that child had or whatever, um, Peter basically antagonized her and basically humiliated her like that. And you didn't even do shit to defend her. You didn't say anything. You basically took... Peter's side and when she was crying about it and told you to stop taking up for him you want to say stop being disrespectful you horse face ass bitch and, I, and you know what bitch I didn't say nothing about it at first but bitch you blocked me on Twitter because you was mad because I told you to get your head out of Nene pussy that's why your horse face ass blocked me and while we talking about Nene and you Nene needed to stop lying because she noticed she's been flirting with Peter ever since the last season she's been flirting with Peter she's been flirting with Peter ever since Cynthia Peter came to the show she's been flirting with him so what the fuck does she mean? Talking about she don't want Peter. Did she say that? Um, what what did she say last season? It had something to do with uh um dark and handsome or something like Peter, baby. Mm hmm. Or something she said uh, uh, to that degree last season. She was flirting with Peter. She wanted to fuck Peter. Wouldn't understand why, but she wanted to. That's her. You know what I'm saying? She wanna lie about it in front of Cynthia. And Cynthia's so fucking dumb. I mean, you should see them sitting on the damn couch together, looking like a damn love triangle. Nene wants to fuck Peter, and if Peter wasn't with Cynthia, if she had a perfect opportunity, she would be fucking Peter. I don't give a damn what she tried to tell him. Um, let's see. Because I'm going by my damn tweets that I'm seeing. Peter is a faggot to me. Because, you know what I'm saying? He said all those things about the females and all of this. And, you know, he talked like when um, Phaedra called him Papa Smurf. He was something like, well, it really didn't matter to me because Papa Smurf got money. Where, where, bitch? Where's your money? Because you, was one, you are one of the brokest husbands on the motherfucking show. If you got money, why the fuck are you borrowing money from your motherfucking wife if you so broke? You always got to borrow money from your wife because you're broke and you don't have good money management skills. So, bitch, please. And then, Cora and Apollo, I could tell that they really didn't want to be involved in that damn reunion. That's just not... Just, you know, that's just not them. And but Peter, he likes that type of shit. He likes that. He likes mess because he's a fucking fag. And you know, it is what it is. So he likes this shit. Um, let's see. 
It's now getting to Sheree about the whole black baby comment. The whole black baby thing is so petty and childish to me. Like, I really don't give a fuck about it because I don't think that Candy was being fucking racist behind the comment. It may have sounded like she was being racist, but I personally don't think she was. And Cynthia, I, for once, like I said on Twitter last night, I agree with Cynthia. For once, I honestly think that if Sheree had an issue with what the fuck Kim said, um, what Kim, nah, not what, what Kim said, but what Candy said, um, about Kim and the whole black baby thing. She should have said something then, but she didn't. You know what I'm saying? She was being messy. She had a motive behind that. It's the way she called Kim and told her about it. And my whole thing is that I'm glad that Phaedra. I'm glad that Phaedra said something about it too. I mean, Sheree was just being messy and there's no way behind it or no way around it at all. You were being a messy ass bitch. Like, if you really had an issue with what the fuck Candy and Cynthia were saying about the whole black baby thing, you would have said something. But no, bitch. You were sitting right along with them in the safari laughing at Cynthia and Candy as well. So what do you mean? I mean, you were being messy. You didn't tell Kim that you were laughing too. So why the fuck did you have to go back and, and run back and you know what she's you know throwing candy under the bus when Cynthia was really the one who said somebody black baby but you know you throwing motherfuckers under the bus or whatever and your ass was just being messy that's all that was then comes Manlo a bitch I really can't stand I really feel like Marlo and Nene both they really do be trying too hard to be classy and you can tell that they're just on new money they ain't really used to shit that's how I see them these are some bitches that ain't used to shit especially Marlo a bitch who been in prison I mean bitches ain't used to shit and they want and you know they show you that they really ain't used to shit so it is what it is but all I gotta say is Manlo is really trying so hard to just hold that damn peach she really trying to stir up any piece of drama that she can to hold a motherfucking peach and that's just what I'm saying you know what I'm saying the way she came at Kim calling her a fucking whore and all of that yeah Kim was a damn whore but yeah y'all are cut from the same cloth so how can you judge another bitch for being a hoe or whatever or, or having a big papa when you have your own big papas and shit and you a fucking escort who the fuck can you talk about man low see that's why I like her and it just came out so desperate and staged and fucking rehearsed she came there with some lines in the back of her head being ready to come for her you know what I mean? Like, this is, I mean, really, bitch? Like, I just don't like Manlo. I never did like her. I had hope for her, but I just don't like her. And I just think that Nene is a kiss ass as well. Like, she agrees with everything that Manlo does. Just like Cynthia agrees with everything Nene does. I mean, they're all kiss asses to me. That's why the three of them are so close, and that's why they hang tough together, because they are all ass kisses, in my opinion. But, um... I think this video was pretty short because that's all I really have to say about um, last night's part of the Real Housewives of, um, of Atlanta's reunion um, part two special. What I will say is that the part three, the part three um, of the reunion will be coming on Sunday. I can't wait to see Candy read the fuck out of these bitches. It's about time that she does. I've seen the previews earlier this morning before I decided to do my video and I will say that Candy is going in on these bitches because she needs to. Manlo is doing a little bit too much to be coming for everybody. And then Cynthia, when the fuck did your ass get a motherfucking backbone when you can't even stand up to your own motherfucking husband but yet you want to stand up to bitches. And what I will say about Kim, that bitch will check you. She just might get her ass choked off by Nene but she will check you when you need it just like before the season ended she checked Cynthia's ass at that damn church and I'm glad she checked her somebody need to check Cynthia because I passed up aggressive ass attitude just ain't cutting it for me so all I got to say is I can't wait to the part three the part three is where all the juice is because the part two wasn't wasn't where it was and I cannot wait to hear what um, Forrest Rock's got to say as well as much love from KY and Closet Free. And before I go, I just want to send um, my shout outs. You know, I always have to do that after every video. I want to send a special shout out to my folks on YouTube. To my boy, The Boy Dashian. He recently did a video about Monica's new album. And I can't wait till he comes back to YouTube full fledged. Um, shout out to Forrest Rock's. Hello, Rock's. Um, shout out to Closet Free. That's my new, that's my new YouTube boo boo. Hey, how you doing? Um, 
Shout out to Sean and Nicholas at the guys at brunch. Y'all need to do a video on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, Kidstar88. Um, I just watched this video about YouTube fame, and I and I really understand him. I really understand where he's coming from. So he really does, you know, put out a lot of videos that um, makes you want to think about things. You know what I mean? Um, shout out to much love from KY. I love you to death. Can't wait to see your video because I know you're gonna be going in on every motherfucking body. And um, I just want to say congratulations. To Divalicious Queen 83, she just revealed that she was pregnant yesterday. So I want to send my wonderful shouts to my good, 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 Judy, Divalicious Queen 83. Congratulations on your new bundle of joy, you and your husband. And I think that you really do deserve it. So congrats to y'all. Um, if I'm in the mood to, I will be doing a my testimony video today, and I'll post it tomorrow. Um, make sure you rate, like, and subscribe. Make sure you spread the word. I'm at 750 subscribers. I think the child is really spreading the word the best way y'all can. I'm getting close to 1,000 each day. So, I see y'all. If I do the video today, I see y'all tomorrow with my My Testimony video. And then the next video I'm going to do Monday, I'm going to do The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm not even um, going to do Mob Wives. I'm over that show. Um, Tuesday would be my Basketball Wives video and my Bad Girls Club video. Now, Tuesday, both of those videos are going to go, are going to be hand in hand. Um, Wednesday, I hope to do an ex Scotty segment if I don't forget about it. Um, ex Scotty um, number four, I'll be doing that Wednesday. And if there's any you know, celebrity gossip for me to talk about come Thursday, there'll be a my uh my perspective video. So I'm out of here you guys. Peace.